drilling holes in a, in a uh, space panel that eventually we're going to put inserts and bond inserts in these holes. And what they do is later our customer can mount electronics and bolt them down to these holes into this lightweight honeycomb panel. Looks like you know, bees honeycomb. That's why it's called honeycomb. But it's very lightweight and when you bond a metal skin on the top and the bottom it becomes very stiff. It's, it's very lightweight and that's needed for aircraft and spacecraft parts. The company's been here since 1956. It started making helicopter rotor blades out of the same kind of material, honeycomb material. And then it got into other aircraft parts. And we do aircraft parts for all of Boeing aircraft. 737s, 47s, 57s, 67s, 777s. And that's one side of our business. The other side is spacecraft. We've been doing spacecraft uh, since 1968. And uh, that includes satellite assemblies, and everything that goes on a spacecraft. Uh, we'll get involved with one way or another. This is a uh, satellite assembly. It's eventually going to be launched into orbit and it will have uh, telecommunications capabilities where uh, you know, data can be transferred from Earth up to orbit and then over to another part of the world. So it's a typical structure. Uh, we make, we've made probably 30 or 40 of these. So one of the biggest parts is what we call the fairing. It's at the very top of the rocket, it's a two-piece uh, two fairing, a kind of a clamshell type thing. When it's in orbit, then, or it's going to orbit, and it opens up uh, and it falls off to Earth, and then the satellites or whatever inside is placed okay. in the orbit. That's the Cygnus assembly, which is what you're starting to see over here in this fixture. It's circular, actually it's got 12 sides to it, and it uh, holds propellant tanks.